guys, it's Officer Haley here, back from Royal Law Enforcement Legend, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my SWAT uniform. Uh, I don't think I've done this in a while, so we're, or I just have never posted the video. Uh, but I got some stuff, so I'm just going to show it to you guys, and let's get into it. So I'm going to start with my hat right here. Before I get into it, I'm not a cop, I'm not even an explorer, I'm too young. Alright, so, uh, right here is my SWAT hat. Uh, I don't have a helmet yet, but... Uh, this army green, I guess, uh, rip away American flag patch, and it's attached by Velcro, so, that's that, um, let's do, um, my shirt next, alright, well, so my shirt is just this from Old Navy with the identifier strip right there. Um, it is a, uh, just a second, guys. I'm sorry about that, guys. But this is just a shirt from Old Navy uh, with a camo pattern. And I wear this under my vest, which I'll show you guys in a second. So right here is my vest. It's got all the stuff on it right now. So... I'm sorry about the yelling in the back. I just, my family's doing a few things. Um, so right here, uh, I have a place for a name tag and a place for a shoulder mic, but I just don't have those yet. And then I also have uh, this on the back and a giant patch, which I do not use. Um, anyway, let's start with this pocket here. Right here, I keep my pepper spray. Which, it's got it's cap on, but, um, am I going to be able to get that out? Yeah, here it is, uh, it doesn't have anything in it right now, but, uh, it's just water in an eyeglass container, but it's black, so I liked that about it, so that's why I wanted it to be my pepper spray. That just sits right there in there, and then right, it has my gloves with it, um, Reason I have my glove, the reason I have those gloves right there is for like medical purposes. If I end up having to take care of an officer down, we can do that. Uh, right here is my keys. Um, it's got a few things on it. It's got a mini compass on it. It's got a bottle opener for if I go to events. Because this also goes on my normal digital belt. Um, it's got a lock with a key on it. And of course, it's got my cup keys. So... That just goes in the second little pocket here. And let's do that. Right here. Spare uh, cuffs. Uh, these are not my primary. These are my secondary pair. Uh, they're, they're fake with the, uh, they're serialized though. Uh, they're fake with the emergency release clip. But they're, overall they're nice handcuffs. I just wish I had real ones. Uh, and just like that. Yeah, so they go like that. And then they're just in that. And right here, uh, I got this pouch. Uh, pretty new. I don't know if I showed it to you guys in the last video, but it's really new. Um. It's actually just a broken little container with a clip on it, but I like it and use it as my taser pouch right here. My Dollar Tree revolver, it makes a nice popping sound though. Uh, you do have to yell at taser, taser, taser if you're actually using one because it will make a gunshot noise. Um, so I like that about it, but it's also orange, so. Pretty cool though. I got it from the Dollar Tree and a police set, so it goes like that. Right here, uh, I have my bless them, but, um, I even know, oh, my identification badge, uh, that's always important, I will also wear this on my battle belt, so let me grab my battle belt, and I'll show you guys that, show you guys my battle belt, um, I also wear these goat skin army grade gloves, and let me grab my, alright, so my belt right here, nor the mess behind me, but, Get you guys down there. And 
let's get into this. So, first, gosh, I don't know why you're, all right, so first, right here, I have my primary cuff case, or actually, no, first, I have my police badge that I just slip on there. Uh, right here, uh, primary cuffs in an off-brand uh, case, just close top with the rust-resistant buckle. Here, I'm going to tilt it up for now. Uh, primary set of cuffs, very nice. Uh, they're also fake, but they are serialized. If they are in the nickel finished or silver, depending upon what you want to call them. It also has Velcro around it. I don't really like the Velcro, though. I wish it was just the buckle because it just makes it that much harder to get it on. Because it's already very hard. Uh, right here, uh, moving down a little bit. Uh, right here on my bag light holder that I just made out of some uh, electrical tape a few days ago. Well, maybe a week now. But right here, I have a mag light. It's not actually a mag light. It's that big. So maybe just a big flashlight, but it's got, and I can manually, I can manually do strobe like this. So, a Lepsy warning. But, anyway, yeah. Pretty nice, and just turn it off with a click. And I'm planning on getting a more a smaller one in a Bianchi Acumold basket weave case, but for now, that's what I have right here. Uh, holster, uh, off brand left hand holster, but I use this part right here, which I don't think you guys can see just to, to keep it on the belt. Um, it was four dollars on Amazon, but nylon case. Right here, I have my black Dollar Tree Uzi that I got, but it's just the size of a pistol, so I like it. It's definitely better than the revolver. Anyway, I can just put that back in. Um, and let me show you one more thing, and then uh, we're going to be done. Uh, right here, uh, just my, oh wait, no, I already showed you guys in that one. Uh, Right here, I have cargo pants. I also wear these on duty because either pants broke or ripped. Uh, they have two cargo pockets uh, and a back pocket. Normally, I just use them for uh, uh, swap, though. But anyway, guys, see you guys later. And peace out. And we're going to wait till 3 minutes, 30 seconds.